<laughs> just the way you drew it up? Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, proud of our guys, the way we battled through. Um, you know, it wasn't always pretty, but we kept fighting and kept believing in each other and, and uh, believing they were going to win the game. You know, defense, huge stop there at the end. Uh, flashback to last week, they had that huge goal line stand against Jacksonville. You know, I don't know how many far or how many inches they had to go, but it wasn't many. You know, it was a couple chain links to, uh, to get that first down, and, and they were able to, uh, to come up huge with a the stop there. So it was a f- complete team win all the way around. I'm proud of our guys and the way we battled. Watching that from the sideline, Ryan. Who were you standing by maybe on that last play, and how did you kind of see it out? What was kind of your reaction when you saw him kind of slip and fall? I don't remember who I was standing by. I was moving around a lot at that point. Um, you know, I'm kind of watching the clock, thinking, okay, you know, if they score, if they kick a field goal, whatever the case may be, how much time we're going to have left to try to go and win this thing. Um, then saw that they were going for it on fourth down, and uh, just belief in our defense that, that uh, we're going to get it done. And... As soon as they stopped it, yeah, I, I kind of lost my mind a little bit, started celebrating, jumping around, you know, enjoying. I don't even know who was, I was with on the sideline, but definitely, um, you know, having a good time. Zero sacks, how important was that tonight? Oh, it was huge. O-line did a great job, uh, you know, especially, you know, as we got going in the game, I was able to get into a little bit of a rhythm, giving me time to throw, and, uh, you know, guys were getting open. So uh, they played really well tonight. You and AJ were able to hit on, on a couple big plays. What was clicking for you there, that connection? How, how was that as far as coming back? Yeah, AJ was huge tonight. You know, had had some really big plays um, coming off the play action. He's, he's getting open. He's getting open by a lot and um, being able to, to catch and run. So when he's able to do that, you know, we're making explosive plays and, and moving the football. So uh, made a couple of sideline adjustments that were allowed him to, uh, to have some more opportunities, and he took advantage of them. Did you guys feel like that play action across the middle, like did you come into this game and you feel like that was going to be open for you? And you never, you never really know. Um, obviously, we, we create a game plan and, and uh, you know, have that as a foundation. But you kind of get into a game and, and you start feeling out how the game's going and and um, you know what looks good and what we can take advantage of. So, um, you know, great adjustments by Todd and, and you know players taking advantage of it like AJ. Where's the completeness? Landry's going in. and Saffold's on play. When, when all the units are playing well emotionally, are you sort of bouncing off of each other? Like when you see Simmons get the sack, does that mean you guys fired up the same way maybe a, a Henry running if those guys fired up? Yeah, no doubt. I mean, you feed off each other. You're playing complementary football. You know, KB comes up with the interception. We're able to go score. And, uh, you know, when you play complementary football like that, the energy, you know, builds and builds and builds. So, um, you know. You have to be able to do that, and you also have to be able to uh, to respond, right? If if they give up a score, or you know, we turn the ball over, then I have to kind of pick the other side up. So it functions in both ways, but definitely, you know, when when things start rolling forward, we can build on that momentum and, and keep it going. What kind of started to open things up for you guys offensively, right? Was it simply Derek's run that started to open things up for the offense, or was there was there more to it? Yeah, I mean, I think obviously we, we started running the football well. Uh, we hit some play actions. We were able to make some plays through the air. Um, you know, the big run was kind of like the spark, so to speak. Uh, you know, we had moved the ball a little bit, but hadn't really sustained any drives up, up until that point. And, um, you know, I think that it was 10. They just took 10 nothing lead. I forget the score at that point. 6 nothing, right? 6 nothing. They just scored uh, another field goal um, after the, the interception there. And they had the momentum, and then to come back and and to uh, have a huge run like that definitely, you know, provided a spark. What is it that allows you guys to kind of meet the moment against good teams in situations like this? Belief in each other, belief uh, that we're going to go out and execute and find a way to win. You know, we, um, you know, like I said, didn't execute perfectly at times, and uh, we're, we're a little bit frustrated by that. But the belief in each other never faded. Uh, the belief that they were going to get it going, they were going to take advantage of the opportunity and uh, and build off of each side of the ball, right? KB gets a pick. We're able to go answer with the score. Um, that momentum just kept building. And then, you know, game gets tight in the uh, in the fourth quarter. That belief that we're going to go down and, and score and take the lead um, never wavered. Is there anything that Vrabel does in weeks like this that is especially effective? Because obviously you guys have risen up in a lot of games like this in the last few years. I mean, it does a good job of leading, leading the team, right? You know, just kind of setting the tone and, and uh, the belief in each other. And, um, you know, wasn't a lot of people outside the building that, that said we had a chance in this game. But, you know, inside that locker room, there was a lot of belief that we were going to go win this game. So at the end of the day, that's all that really matters. He kind of reinforces that, that message. And, um, you know, as a team, we, we buy into that.
How much of that for is a training thing? I imagine you don't just enter a game and all of a sudden guys actually believe it's going to get done. Well, it's through doing it, right? You know, you can't, if you're constantly coming up short, then, you know, the belief, you can say it, you can want to believe it, but, you know, the belief may not be there. But the fact that this team has grit, you know, we're going to find a way, we've done it for, for several years now, is, is find a way to win tough games. You know, we're not um, always the prettiest squad, you know, the most glamorous squad, but we believe in each other. We, we play tough, gritty football, and, and we love to win. And we're going to try to find a way to do that each and every week.